Now, from Augusta National Golf Club in Augusta, Georgia, set amongst the azaleas, dogwoods, magnolias, and pines, this is EA Sports coverage of the world of golf. Rich Lerner, so pleased to be joined by Frank Navalo. And Frank, the setting here at Augusta National, as always, is ideal. You could just sort of sit and watch and soak it all in. But you have to get out there and play. So what are the keys to being successful here? Getting used to the uphill and downhill lines. Uh, and you see that on what is regarded really as the most perfect par five ever created. That's 13. Because if you had a nice tee shot, you're going to go for that uh, go for that green across the tributary of Ray's Creek. Then, then you better used to be having the ball above your feet. And of course, then you get to 16. And I'm going to steal a, uh, a line, you know, from uh, the great Verne Lundquist. Yes, sir. And yes, sir, you know you're playing a beauty. the looks of this one. Oh, she got a great swing. I really like that goal swing. I love that shot too. Inside 10 feet. That missed it left. Mm, that's a let down. So the birdie not to be, and she'll brush that in for her par. Moving on to the 575-yard par five second at Augusta National, one of two par fives on this first nine. Reachable in two for many in the field, but the green is protected by large, deep bunkers. This started toward the left side. Uh, that took the turn in this fairway perfectly. That's going to get a good amount of run out and going to leave a great angle to attack this second green. That one had to feel good. It struck it so well, you could see that by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green. Landed so softly. Mm, got it there, but not quite on target. A great opportunity here for Birdie. And that's what you have to do on a course like this. Take advantage of the par fives, and that's in for birdie here at the second. Onward now to the classic 350-yard par four third hole here at Augusta National. Best probably to hit short of the four fairway bunkers and then have a full shot into this green, which sloped right to left. a big drive easily clearing that series of bunkers but that will leave a delicate pitch shot to this third green And that's all set up by the big tee shot. You put yourself in that good of a position in the fairway just short of the green, and good things are bound to happen. That's as stress-free a birdie as you're going to get on this course. That is well done. Now to the fourth, an excellent par three. This requires a solid, pure strike. You can't fake it on this hole, and you're happy to walk away with three.
Okay, not taking any chances there. A good, safe play in the middle portion of the green. Let's bring in Nota Begay the third for a look at birdie. And not much up or downhill here, so speed not a consideration. All that needs to be looked at is the movement from left to right. No, kind of underread that one, and it winds up missing below the hole. So close to a birdie, but she'll be left shaking her head as she finishes that for a par. Inspired by the road hole at the old course at St. Andrews, the 495-yard par 4 fifth. This is an excellent par 4, second longest at Augusta National, uphill slightly and dogleg to the left. Nothing to fault there. Safety in the field. To where the hole is cut, just about 190 yards, Frank. Oh, this could be good. An outstanding ovation for that. She made just such a good pass at that. Hit it right out of the middle of the bat. Tremendous shot. Yes, a good look at that one all the way in. It's a birdie to push that score to three under for the round. Another good par three here on this first nine. It's the 180-yard par three sixth. Elevated tee, two-tiered green. Chance to make it two, but you need to be precise on the tee. That's going to be on the putting surface, and the birdie looks straight ahead. Not an easy one, 20 feet away. Scoot a foot or two by. So the birdie not to be, and she'll brush that in for her par. On to hole number seven now, a par for it, 450 yards. It's one of the narrower holes on the course, so precision is more important than power off the tee. The second shot is no bargain either with a total of five bunkers completely surrounding a fairly small green. Just what you want to do, land it in the fairway, get a little bit of rollout, and that is a good shot. From the fairway, we check in with Noda. Well positioned in the fairway, but there is no guarantees to hit the green. It is protected by a series of bunkers all around it, and precision is a requirement. Well, Rich, I didn't expect this sort of uh, fireworks here today, but already with some birdies on the card and another one here by the looks of things. Well done, it's birdie to move to four under now on the day. So where the second hole, the par five, is considerably downhill, the eighth is up the hill. You can certainly make an eagle here, but it requires two good shots and maybe a little luck. If you play it off the right, it'll kick down and leave you within eagle range. Simple when you're going good, doesn't it? 
And that is yet another solid drive. Mission accomplished on in two. Didn't find it all the way there, but got enough release in good shape. Just six feet left for the birdie. Yeah, the good play continues. Now a five under on the deck. We wrap up the first nine with the tough 460-yard par four known for a treacherous three-tiered green that slopes sharply from back to front. Approach shots here that don't have enough carry could also wind up rolling a good 30, 40 yards or so back down the hill. Tee shot right where you want to be here at hole number nine. Second shot coming up, and we say hello to Iona Steven. Yeah, she's looking at 121 yards to the hole today, and that pin, well, it's back left today. Uh, good shot, safely on the green, and a birdie chance. This from about 10 feet. <laughs> Nothing to it. Well done. It's a birdie here at the ninth, and that will make this an even 30 for the front side going out in six under par. Start of the second nine here at Augusta National is also the start of a difficult stretch. These two par fours, 10 and 11, all you want, and then you get up to that challenging little par 312. Everything flowing really well right now. Coming off three birdies in a row. Here's another solid tee shot as well. Well, downhill, Frank. Want to play the ball, what, a little further back in the stance? Take a club less. Good shot coming in here. I know it's a little long, but still inside that 10-foot circle is always good and even money, really, to make birdie. Oh, yeah, what a run here making the turn. Birdies at 8, 9, and again at the 10th. We move along to hole number 11 here at Augusta National. Now at 520 yards, a par 4. 
This tee box shifted a bit to the left in 2022, which lengthened the hole a good 15 yards, so that now navigating a tee shot down the right side brings more risk in the play. Really starting to make a hard game look easy. Drive after drive has been superb. And this one, well, as we like to say, is in the mayor's office. there and it's in for a birdie welcome to the 155 yard par 312 maybe the most famous par 3 in the world hogan's bridge ray's creek you're familiar with all the names a bunker in front of the green and two behind club selection and trying best as you can to gauge the wind absolutely critical Yeah, not a great shot. That's going to wind up missing to the right of this 12th green. Now this, her second into this par three. Well, those are the shots that turn what you'd like to be a leisurely stroll out on the golf course into a day of hard work. Yeah, what could have been a tap-in is now going to be a grind. Yeah, good concentration there. That's a distance where a putt could get away, but that, in for a par. This 13th tee box, one of the favorite spots for all the golfers. It's a respite. It's very peaceful back there. Chance to gather your thoughts and then maybe gather some momentum. Turn one over off the tee and then turn on the jets. Maybe make eagle here. Just think about it. You, you've got to cover nearly two football fields of distance and get it inside five feet. You wouldn't think that's possible. Yes, very methodically done in that one. In for a birdie. On to the 440-yard par 4 14th, the only hole at Augusta National without a single bunker. The terrace green is the challenge here. Good shot up the hill and into the fairway at 14. From the fairway, let's go to Noda. Hole definitely sitting in the go zone. If you can hit your number, ball could get really close. Yeah. 
stuck the follow through right there. This could be really good. Well, it's a decent size green. It's not bad. Just a little past the hole. Chance now for another birdie. in for a birdie. We come now to the instantly recognizable hole number 15. It's called Firethorn. Traditionally, it has been the second easiest hole on the course behind only number 13. But it was lengthened in 2022 with an extra 20 yards added on, making that potential carry over the pond with a second shot that much tougher. This a tee shot that fits the eye, and that'll be just fine. From the fairway, we check in with Noda. Looking at the greatest second shot in golf, but don't let the beauty fool you. There is trouble everywhere. Shot that is beautiful, and that will make for a contented little stroll over that Sarazen Bridge. So now, just a short one left for her eagle. Oh, yeah, that's how you take advantage of a par five. It's in for an eagle three. Superb. We arrive now at the 170-yard par 3 16th, played entirely over water to a green flank by three bunkers. Like every hole at Augusta, precision off the tee here is key. You can make a birdie. Okay, safely aboard. A lot of movement coming left here. This for birdie. Mm, maybe gave that one a little too much credit and it missed on the high side. Close to a birdie, but she'll be left shaking her head as she finishes that for a par. Next up, the uphill par 4, 17th, measuring 440 yards. The Eisenhower tree, you may remember, was removed in 2014 after being damaged in an ice storm. But challenges remain, especially the green, which seems to slope off in just about every direction. Once again, another great tee shot. Uh, I'm starting to wonder how low can you go? And the driving has been simply superb. After a good tee shot, Iona, this, her second. 139 is the number. Pin in the middle, so it's a green light. I always looked inside that 15 feet circle. Anything inside that was going to be a good shot. So in my book, that's a good shot. Yeah, look, that one right in. That's good putt. And it's in for a birdie. Final hole here at Augusta National. It is all you want at 465 yards up the hill, all right in front of you. Hit the perfect drive, the perfect approach and you might get the perfect ending, all you've ever wanted.
Yeah, that one navigated beautifully through that narrow opening, and that is going to work out just fine. So going well up the hill to that green, we'll need to take an extra club here. This is looking really good. Oh, just need a little bit more. I know it's 10 feet, but come on, we're a little bit closer. Nine feet remaining here for Birdie. Yeah, that's how to end it. Back to back birdies at 17 and 18. And that final birdie means that this will be a round of 58. Incredible. Well, that about wraps it up for us here today. I'd like to thank my partner, Frank Nabolo. Really enjoyed it, Frank. Yeah, it's been a good day out here. Once again, we've seen the golf course give more than it takes. For Frank Nabolo, I'm Rich Lerner saying so long for now.